I was born into the church. Growing up, I was active in Sunday school, the choir, vacation Bible school, and youth fellowship. Even though my pastor told me he thought I would be a good minister, I entered Penn State intending to become an aerospace engineer. Yet in my freshman year, I heard God calling me to become a pastor. Because I did not believe that a degree in aerospace engineering would make a good foundation for becoming a minister, I changed my course of studies and I graduated from Penn State with a degree in elementary education. I went on to earn degrees in Christian education from Isleth School of Theology and in parish ministry from Lancaster Theological Seminary. I began my career in ministry in the United Methodist Church and then transferred into the Presbyterian Church. Over a bit more than a quarter of a century, I served seven congregations in Pennsylvania and Ohio. For at least 50 years, writers have been telling us that in the United States there is a great quest for community. Yet in our villages, towns, and cities, we've built a world in which there is little sense of place, where the spheres of our lives have become fragmented, where there is little opportunity to put down roots, and where people are encouraged to seek personal gain instead of the common good. Because of this, many people have come to feel that they are wandering in a disquieted, fragmented, unfulfilled wilderness. For the most part, the church does little to lead people on a road out of this wilderness, instead following society ever deeper into this disquiet. Most of the congregations I've served and known provide little sense of place to the communities they're in. Their buildings now serve members who have scattered into the suburbs and beyond, and the congregation does little to reach out to those living in the neighborhood of its building. Their schedules are designed to allow people to continue to live their helter-skelter life, rushing in and then out of the building to seek merely a quick God fix. Because of this fragmentation, churches do little to help build relationships or create communities, either amongst themselves or between the congregation and the surrounding neighborhood. We seek to create a welcoming place where people can find a home away from home, where they can meet old friends and make new acquaintances among those who they might not have met otherwise, and where they can find good food and fellowship that is a spiritual tonic against the fragmented, jangled character of American society. We hope, too, to create a place where one can seek God in an atmosphere of warmth, care, and support, and where our actions of faith are more important than our statements of faith. We seek to help one another learn how to offer others God's own hospitality. And we seek the welfare of the entire community through the enrichment of activities such as book and poetry readings, live music, art exhibits, and community gardens. We invite you to join us on this journey.